It's hard to count the number of people who experienced uh, working with Rosé and learned and grew out of it because he was always challenging people. And so this is a, an enormous legacy of so many people he has impacted over the last number of years and, and will benefit the oncology community for years to come. Being here today, seeing all the walls, his face on the TVs, it was just like, extremely touching. I think like how someone in such a short amount of time kind of was welcomed and, and, and regarded and loved so much. Seeing people come up to me saying, you know what, I came to Seneca mostly because of your father, because of what he meant to me and what he, the confidence and who he was as a person, I think people coming up and appreciating that to me is, makes all the difference in the world. The documentary was incredible. Like I almost, it's hard to put a word to it. Made me realize, you know, that how, you know, how special a person he was. And I constantly have Jose's voice in my head. I've had Jose's voice in my head for quite a while now, actually. And um, it's, you know, to try to anticipate, you know, what else do we need to think of? What haven't we covered? Where else is the next piece to go? And so that's what I think he helped to bring out the best for, for me is just constantly being on the, the, the on your game. Um, and, and thinking ahead and then trying to help others uh, to, to, to get there as well. I just feel so lucky that he got to spend the last few years of his life, the last two years here. He, he found a culture that allowed him to thrive and where he had like-minded people who were not afraid to take a risk. Just seeing that impact that he had um, was, was truly special. And I think for him, having those patients always in mind and always really close, that spikes the urgency. Um, and that means that every failure is not a no, but a not yet. Every time we will watch this documentary on the building that bears his name, we will think about Jose smiling and asking if we are giving the best of ourselves to eradicate cancer and make this world a better place. But seeing that people, you know, recognized this person who he was and they loved him so dearly makes me proud, really proud.